And it would be my honor and pleasure if you guys would help me to welcome Rachel Marco Havens. There she is. I've got lyrics. Okay. Hi, everyone. I'm going to tell some stories and I'm going to sing some songs and, and, uh, and I don't know what's going to happen. And I have this awesome, people are just going to show up and do stuff and, and it's all Seth's fault. Um, but I'm going to start with a song all by my not lonesome. And um, it was... I asked permission. It was shared with me many years ago, uh, almost 25 years, 25 years ago actually. Um, I heard it for the first time, and when I heard the the, the women who sang it uh, for the first time, I, chills went up my spine, and and I could never do this song justice. But it somehow just resonates in my bones, and as as we're talking about. Um, decolonizing our minds and our hearts and um, and starting to look at to like unmelt this melting pot this proverbial melting pot that's taken away so much spirit from so sp spiritual connectivity to the earth from so many people because um, you, you can't just melt everyone's culture into one big pot and assume that um, that we're all gonna be seen and heard and felt in the mix. And uh, so I heard this song was, was written by a woman named Pura Fey, and it was sung by a group of women called Yulali. And, um, and the story that I heard um, and hear when they sing it is about the, the blending, the, the, the sadly forced meshing of um, African slaves and indigenous um, to Turtle Island uh, people who were brought in uh, prior to the illegalization of uh, putting slaves, uh, putting indigenous people into slavery, there was forced mixing for good stock. And this has caused, even now, um, I have very dear friends, the Ramapo Lenape in New York, um, the T word who some people call uh, our president in the American government, um, he once said, they don't look Indian to me, man, because there was too much dark skin in their blood. And uh, so this song means a lot to me. And if I had a drum, Murr, you know, it's, it, I don't know if I could do it justice, so it's better to just do it on my own. I'm going home, I'm going home, North Carolina's crying in my soul, creator I'm reaching out. are alive within my soul return their prayers that run through my veins return the land and heal her pain oh hidden truth tell the world the blues where it comes from I'm going home Where the news river runs through a land where my great grandmother sleeps under the earth where her whole nation was free. 
I hear Nigerian chains They say are buried real deep Tobacco fields Trail of tears Stolen people on stolen land I'm going home Because, I don't know, some of you might feel a little bit like I do. I've got the colonizer, the colonized, the enslaved. There's so much in here. And there's so much in you. And there's so many places to call home and to go home and to land um, in your body and in, in the places where our feet touch the land. And, um, and I don't know exactly where home is right now. I've been kind of thinking maybe this, um, this land, this land here that Mojo burned into this gorgeous stage, maybe I'm supposed to be in the mitten. Um, I, I don't know, you know, but I keep coming back. And for a long time, it was one year, once a year, I'd come and I ended up here. And thanks to Michael Lee, who said, you're getting on a train and you're coming here and you're going to harvest. Um, I, en I ended up here and I saw Michael, I'm from Woodstock, New York, and I saw Michael Ann here on the stage just bearing her guts, my sister, my 25 years, we've been just, I just love you so much and it's your family, your family, there's Margaret, that brought me here and, um, and then somehow Seth just like, I said, Seth, can you help me like play with a few songs and see what happens if I, um, if I put some of this music to some of my words, and he said, yep, and then he said, that was really fun, you're gonna play Harvest this year, and I went, what? <laughs> okay, okay, I, okay. And, um, and so, uh, so we've worked out a couple, few songs, and, and then people are gonna join me, and I might, I don't know, I might tell a little more stories, and, and, uh, and so yeah, and so I think I'm gonna, share a little prayer I've been playing with. And, and it's interesting because the Buddha Dharma brought me here. My teacher, Kempo Kartar Rinpoche, brought me here now today. And the early wine family has been so blessed to me. And, and so it's interesting that I'm playing with a little Dharma here. But may all beings be free from suffering and the root of suffering. And that's a prayer I like to share. Um, May we find connection to those beside us and to those who have passed and those who are walking with us in this retinue of ancestors. May we all be free from suffering and the root of suffering. May we transform those limiting beliefs into opportunities for positive expectation and um, blessed creation. May we step out into our day with the hope and the prayer and the expectation of love coming toward us. May we lay right in the center of all the beauty that is available. May all beings be free from suffering and the root of suffering. May we learn to see each other through the veils, the veils that we've created and put in front of ourselves and the veils that our people and our family have put in front and between us and may we just clear all of that and see that in each of us is a bit of each other and in each of us is the blessed perfection that everyone is searching for, it's already there. May all beings be free from suffering and the root of suffering. May all beings find the opportunity to sing when there's stuck energy in our throat. And when we can't speak what's on our mind, may we find a way to sing it. 
And if we can't find the words, just sing, row, row, row your boat, because going gently down the stream's a lot better than um, floundering in the current. Let that current bring us somewhere. May all beings be free from suffering and the root of suffering. May we see the child in the person beside us and the child in ourselves with as much love as we can't help but see when we see a child sleeping in his mother's arms. May all beings be free from suffering and the root of suffering. May we learn to forgive others as freely as we excuse ourselves. May all beings be free from suffering and the root of suffering. May we find that breath, the breath that comes after a really beautiful hug. And there's so many here. May all beings be free from suffering and the root of suffering. have such an incredible family and community as we do because we do so many of us I can't believe there's so many people in this room right now I can't see you all but I certainly can feel you and I'm not suffering right now I'm not suffering at all I'm feeling pretty happy to be here may all beings be free funny when I listen to Seth's music particularly um, Egg Tones Four Directions I want to write you know it's so expansive it's pretty expansive gorgeous thank you Seth for being here with me do you want to play my little strange mashup Four Strong Winds ready? I think I'm ready <laughs>
love that. Oh 
That was the first song I ever heard a melody to. And, uh, and I just sang it into my phone one day and I played it for a friend of mine who's one of the most incredible melody writers and singers I've ever met. And man, she cried and then she was like, you're like the best writer. And I'm like, you're crazy, man. And so she's been bugging me to sing that one. And thank you, Seth. That sounded really awesome. Yeah, 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 we're gonna do that and then we're gonna freaking stir it up. Okay, so, okay, so this is a song, this is a song that I wrote like, as like a, it was one of those days, I kind of had enough, man. I so had enough and, uh, and I was like, I have to stop with this sort of, I did a thing today in the women's tent on limiting beliefs transforming limiting beliefs and uh and so this is my little transformance of limiting beliefs today and let's see if i can we can do this and so seth and this is how come i ended up here i went up to seth and i was like dude come on help me and he was like i think this one needs drums and so it's just me and him on the drums and actually like i'm a punk rocker at heart like bubblegum punk is super fun to me and so i'm gonna play with this one I don't even know if I remember the melody. If I look for the good, I find it. Knock on wood, I mean it. I know I can't rewind it. So I write another song and dance to my own melody. Here's the fun part. Man, I just spit. Um, so the first time I came to Harvest, so I, I'm going to assemble the, like the hottest band, one of the hottest bands. Actually, man, you guys, Michigan has like the best music. You guys kick ass. Last night right here, there was so much fun on the stage. Detroit took the house down last night. We'll see. 
and his boys. Oh my God. All right, so first time I came here, Milo, Staley, over there. I heard this story about this guy, his name was Milo, and this young girl named Emma, my girl Emma, she just loved him so much. And the whole drive here, she went, Milo, we're gonna see Milo. And so like, I was already, Milo was like my biggest hero. So when he landed on that stage, he had this like killer band of all these amazing people. And every one of them had like the biggest smile on their face and they were so excited to support him. And I like, I left here, I cried the whole ride home, 17 hours of driving, I cried. And I listened, I had two albums in my car at that time, and one was Chris Dorman's Sita, and the other one was Pat Carroll's Glow in the Dark. Yeah. And um, I'm gonna miss Chris's set tomorrow night, but I'm gonna, like, I'm, I'm gonna put a hammock right there, and I'm, if I have to sleep in here, I'm gonna catch that one o'clock set tonight. Is it some one o'clock? Okay, so, um, where's that young man? Oh, there he is. How you doing, eh? No. Okay, so this is like my favorite song, and I keep the lyrics here too because, um, because it's one of those things, man. Now let me just make sure it's in order. Jane in the Tahoe mud Stick around and tell us all a tale Well, they fell in love with a gun street girl And now she's dancing in the Birmingham jail Dancing in the Birmingham jail Took a hundred dollars off a slaughterhouse
and all that's falling out of the world With a head full of bourbon and a dreaming strong Gone Street Girl was the cause of it all Gone Street Girl was the cause of it all Marco Haven. <laughs> 